是不是每次面试之前都超级紧张？说完 How are you? Fine, thank you， 就完全不知道怎么继续尬聊下去了。你是不是也碰到过这样的情况呢？那是因为你没有掌握 pre-interview small talk 的一些技巧。So in this video, I will cover pre-interview small talk tips and examples. 记得赶紧收藏、点赞、关注我们。面试之前拿出来好好学习哦。同时，我们精心准备的黛西和阿川无忧求职课程也终于上线了。感兴趣的同学们，赶紧去我们的主页当中查看哦。So first of all, you need to understand the 底层逻辑 of small talk. Small talk is icebreaker that clears the way for real conversation, laying the foundation for a stronger relationship. So you need to evoke the good and the positive feelings for your interviewers, so that they feel included, valued, and comfortable, and they will remember you better than they remember your competitors, and make your interview conversation easier. So your small talk needs to follow the below principles: positive, appropriate, related. And light. Step one: the easiest way to start a conversation is to compliment your interviewer. Telling them what you admire about them makes an immediate connection between the two of you. An authentic compliment makes your interviewer feel good about both of you and make your interview conversation smoother. The key is that your compliment is genuine. So select something that you can truly support. You can either compliment your interviewer's possession or behavior. For example, you can research your interviewer's background and say. I admire how you navigate your career through different functions. It must have taken a lot of courage and efforts to switch the gear and succeed. How did you manage the transition? Or if you are doing a virtual interview, you will be able to see your interviewer's background through the camera, and you might be able to say, "I like your paintings. I like your renovation. Or I like the big window besides your desk." And easily, naturally transition to the next step of our approach. Ask question. You can ask, "How do you find working from home?" Or how do you find interviewing people virtually? Another way to start and maintain a conversation is to ask questions. Prepare at least four to five icebreaker questions and refer to them before you go into the interview. Always ask open-ended questions. For example, "How's your day going so far? What do you have been busy with recently? How long you have been with this company?" So now you know you can start a conversation by complimenting your interviewer or ask questions to your interviewer. So here comes the most difficult part of small talk: how to continue or maintain the conversation. And I know most of you got stuck at this step. So the magic is digging deeper. Whenever you begin a dialogue with a question, you should always get ready to dig deeper, so that your interviewer knows that you're interested in hearing more. Here are some examples. Number one: if you ask the question, "How was your summer?" and your interviewer answered, "Excellent," you can ask a follow-up question. What special things did you do? Number two, if you ask the question, "How were your holidays?" and your interviewer answered, "Pretty good," and you can continue to ask, "How did you celebrate? Did you celebrate with your family?" Number three, how was your weekend? Good. What did you do? I went to see the new Marvel movie. Really? You were interested in Marvel movie? Me too. How was the movie? Aside from the above three steps, don't forget the first step is always to introduce yourself. Extend your hand. Make eye contact and smile, saying, "Hello, my name is Daisy. It's nice to meet you." Okay, here is a recap of pre-interview small talk tips. Take the lead, compliment and ask questions. Dig deeper and make your interviewer feel comfortable. You only need to continue practicing these skills and tips, and I'm sure you'll be doing great in your next interview. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.